Hi everybody and welcome to the Daily Scopes, 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 Scopes for the 14th of July. So this week we've got a few influences. So the first we've got the Sun making a parallel to Jupiter, which is the same as a conjunction. And this entered on the 1st of July as that on the 15th of July at 7.03 and leaves us on the 24th of July at 3.13pm. Then we've got Jupiter making a quintile um, to Neptune, so a nice subtle energy. Um, Jupiter's in Taurus and Neptune's in Pisces. This entered on the 13th of July and is exact at 1.56pm on the 18th of July and leaves on the 23rd of July at 11.21am. Then we've got Mars making a parallel to Uranus and bringing on predictability and fiery energy to the week and this leaves on the 2nd of August and is exact on the 18th of July and entered on the 7th of July. Venus also makes a parallel to Mars and Uranus. So Venus is parallel to Mars is exact on the 19th of July leaves us on the 23rd of July and Venus is um, parallel to Uranus is exact on the 19th of July and leaves us on the 25th of July so a lot a lot going on and flavoring our week so the sun's parallel to Jupiter allows us to be more self-confident supporting our opportunities for growth and and being optimistic through life's um, challenges this week's challenges but we can be overconfident and spend too much the best use of this energy is to use it to you know expand your intellectual belief system you know seek out research learn new things try and um, understand other people's um, point of view Jupiter's quintile to Neptune allows us to be creative, to have spiritual insights and intuitive understanding. But with all Neptune transits, you know, there can be a sort of, um, because it's subtle, it it probably happens more inwardly. So you may escape into your own dream world, into your thoughts, into your fears. You know, you may find it hard to actually be in any present moment this week, um, not to laugh, but yeah, so... Watch out also for being too idealistic and manipulating others and other people manipulating you and of course, you know, turning to intoxicating substances and excessive um, usage um, to numb yourself and um, try and do all you can to face reality and to ground yourself in it this week as well. Best use for this energy is to connect with others and yourself, deepen your spiritual awareness and find creative ways just to, you know, work through your emotions or relationship problems and stuff and just be open to, you know, going deep and seeking out tools and support if you feel like you can't cope um, because of this energy. Mars is parallel to Uranus, brings adventurous to our spirits, allows us to take um, bold, courageous actions, be innovative in our thinking and the way we do things, but it can make us impulsive and make us have sudden conflicts with others and take too much risk. So the best use of this energy is to use it for breakthroughs and starting new things. So Venus is parallel to Mars, um, allows us to sort out any issues within ourselves and in our relationships, so solving that Jupiter, Quintel, Neptune um, needs for numbing and um, escaping and not being able to cope. It allows us to bring harmony within ourselves and in any relationships we're experiencing trouble right now, if we're open to saying sorry or accepting apologies or asserting your boundaries, respecting other people's boundaries, um, using the active listening space, you know, giving each other, everyone involved, um, time to state their point of view because, you know, there can be a lot of increased emotion, especially impulsiveness in love and conflicts that come about because everybody's feeling a bit over-emotional right now as well or passionate. So, you know, just channel this into trying to work with others. Um, so it's good for teamwork and having enthusiasm about overcoming challenges as well. So yeah, Venus is parallel to Uranus and um, can bring some of you unconventional and uh, romantic or other hookup experiences this week. Um, also, you know, great energy for socialising, doing crazy things, you know, just, just socialising this feeling, yeah, I really enjoyed that night out or that experience, you know. 
but negatively it can bring disruptions in established committed relationships or business partnerships and stuff because of unpredictability and the desire for freedom at the expense of stability right now the best use of this energy is to explore new ways of expressing emotion love and affection and embracing change in your relationships as well this week is also great for writers, content creators and stuff because of um, the sun's power out of Jupiter that allows us to focus on self-confidence, leadership and our personal development. So writing about, around these topics, continuing starting projects on these themes can go really well right now. So yeah, this week is about pushing boundaries, breaking free from limitations that hold you back, especially stagnant ways of behaving and communicating with yourself and others, rethinking your um, thought patterns, having more determination, embracing the wings of change and stepping into your power fearlessly while also respecting others need to do so and just you know committing really to changing your life as well and being assertive but we need to balance it with being receptive as well to other people's um you know assertiveness and um, modes of expression and stuff we have to watch out against being you know pussy and you know just being able to pursue what you really want this week with you know courage and just appreciating beauty and just being open to newness so also on the 14th of July the moon's in Libra so it allows us to be balanced again in our relationships and seek peace which is good and seek compromise but negatively we can be indecisive superficial and just people pleasing others and neglecting our own needs because we fear confrontation and you know there can be an overemphasis on seeking approval so it's important to compromise and try and find empathetic understanding and it's a great um, time for um, just being authentic and to try and overcome any indecisiveness and again work on any sort of like fashion projects um social connection projects and stuff and just work on finding more inner peace and improving communication in relationships as well um so that you can create a sense of equilibrium in your life and increase both your internal and external beauty so yeah that was the daily scope, 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 scope for the 14th of July.